Sheffield night tonight at the gym, and we're offering a two for one membership. Are you fancy it? Yeah, go on then. Hey, do you reckon we get involved in this or what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look. Come tonight. Oh, for the last time, I'm the MC. Can't get involved in my own event, right? I don't get why. I'm getting involved. Listen, we get to drum up a bit of business for the gym and we might even get a day out of it. It's win-win for the girls. And I might be able to find that lodger I need. Oh, right, love. What are you doing here? Just picking up some stuff. What's that? Oh, we're trying out two for one memberships at the gym. So, we're going to throw a singles evening where people can come along and score themselves a gym buddy, but your mum is going to stand on the side like a headmistress at a school disco. What? Why? Mum, you should do it. When's the last time you let your hair down? What? Well, I don't have time to. Anyway, what sort of mum would it be if I'm off gallivanting with blokes while you're sat at home? And give me that, will you? You should be taking it easy. You are my priority. Mum, I'm fine. Though I would be a lot better if the people I cared about weren't putting their lives on hold for me. Well, until you're fighting fit again, love, you're what matters to me. I've told you that. Yeah, but if I'm not going to be here anymore... Will you stop talking like that? You are sick, but you are going to get better. A very stirring mum, but I meant not living here. I know you worry about me, Mum. But I worry about you too. And now that I'm out from under your feet, you've got no excuse to cut yourself off from the rest of the world. I'm a big girl. Doesn't mean you don't need taken care of from time to time. Well, exactly. So why don't you take some of your own advice? Go find someone to care for you. You deserve it. Oh, I'd need to get ready and... Oh! Say no more. Call Pears. And take a seat. We're going to get you ready for the ball. Oh, come on. You said you were getting involved. Julia has given her blessing for you to find yourself a bloke. And she just wants you to be happy. And they wouldn't have given you this makeover if they didn't mean it. Look, I'm just not good at the talking and the flirting and, and that sort of stuff. But it's easy. Look, we're not kids going on our first dates to the cinema. Well, this might surprise you, but I have not been on any cute cinema dates. Not in between, you know. Running away from home, getting addicted to drugs, and then turning tricks to feeding the kids. And the other thing is, you won't see how people look at me when I told them I was on the game. Like the seedy jokes and the embarrassed laughs. Oi! Anyone who can't deal with your past doesn't deserve to be in your future. End off. Oh, come on, dating is just people. Yeah, and you're amazing with people. But you, people just like to talk about what their interests are. Find out what that is, and the conversation will just flow naturally. Hey, after that, who knows? <laughs> I didn't know you were such a love guru. I tell you what, why don't you uh, show me how it's done? What? With this hole in us? Mm-hmm. It's not too bad to look at, is it? All right. Watch and learn. Oh. All right, Joel. All right. Yeah? <laughs> so. How are you? Are you still into God and all that? <laughs> well, collar or no collar, once you let him into your heart, he uh, tends to stick about it. Right. <laughs> Amen to that. He's great, isn't he? Jesus. Oh, yeah. I can see I'm a fan. <laughs> so, um, you know, some people, they, they don't think that long hair suits folks, but I think Jesus really pulled it off. Oh, yeah. Some would say that was maybe one of his greatest achievements. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> what's your favourite testament? Thanks for coming. Okay. Get mingling. <clears throat> OK. Hello. <clears throat> Oi. OK. So, just a reminder that today's about you singletons finding yourself a workout body. Because if there's one thing to make a crippling anxiety and inevitable heartbreak of a relationship worthwhile, it's sharing a gym membership. So, good luck, lovers! Yeah, nice one, mate. Really set the tone there. <clears throat> oh, that's Greg. He used to work at the fire station with him. Oh, thanks for setting the fire alarm off. Oh, hey, you two would get on. Let me introduce you. Come ah. So how hot is fire? Uh, Greg, this is me mate. Hi, I'm, uh... Can I go on your fire engine? Uh, probably not. Damon, come here. Look at the room. There's lots of women that you could be chatting to. I pay my money. I can talk to her one. 
Hey. So, do you ever jump out of an exploding building like they do on the films? <sighs> Hello. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah, and you, Harold. Hey, is it just me or are those two getting on like an house on fire? Just as well there isn't an house on fire. Most of the stations seem to be here. Didn't want to go in a stupid fire engine anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I wish there was a real fire. I'd love to see you in action. Well, the night's still young. <laughs> yeah. That guy's been hanging up ever since he got here. Yeah, he's just an, an old work colleague. <laughs> yeah? What does he do for a living? Well... I'll be careful asking about her job, mate. Might temper the romance somewhat. I'm sorry, do we have a problem? <laughs> just a private joke. Between friends. The only joke around here, Harold, is you. <laughs> do you want to get another drink? You know, it's been a difficult day, but getting talked down to by a hooker really might just push me over the edge. Ah, uh, you are embarrassing yourself, mate. Am I? Just because she's ashamed of our history together doesn't mean I have to be. Is that what you think? Well, I've got news for you, pal. I'm not ashamed of anything. I mean, why would it be? Look at me. Look at where I am. I was on the streets with nothing, and I still managed to raise two amazing kids. It's been a while, sorry. Do your kids still not speak to you? Because no one here wants to either, so if you don't mind, do one. <laughs> You can't kick me out. <laughs> Actually, yes, I can. I own the place. Don't look at me. She's the boss. <laughs> See ya. I'm so sorry about that. So a self-made woman, then. I'd like to hear more about that. <laughs> 